schools don't kill creativity. Sir Ken Robinson, in his TED Talk says, creativity is as important in education as literacy. You know, I totally agree with that. It really worries me that there's such a focus on recall and memory work in education today. And I think that is gradually wearing down creativity in classrooms. The schools have a bit of an odd relationship with creativity. And in most classrooms, when you talk about creative tasks, they're probably just talking about turning something from being a bit of text into a drawing or a model or something like that. That's not really what creativity is. He talks about creativity being about being happy to make mistakes. And making mistakes is simply a fundamental part of learning. In fact, it's how everyone learned everything ever. So by that definition, schools don't kill creativity because we definitely encourage students to take risks and try things and make mistakes and then learn from them. But really the message behind Sir Ken Robinson's TED Talks is he's talking about the future. He's talking about how we need to collaborate to solve the world's problems. We need all these different types of intelligence. We need ingenuity to fight global warming and overcome the other challenges that the world faces. That's what he's talking about. In 2010, he did it again, and he compares our school system to like a fast food chain, putting out the exact same product with little or no personalization. He said that we do it this way because we just take for granted that that's the way it's always been done and that's the way it has to be done. But, but I put it to you that actually within the current system, you can grow into your own individual person. You can do this. You don't need to be in a different system to grow into a different individual than your peers. This is the 21st century and you have at your fingertips every piece of information, every opportunity, every resource to learn in whatever way you wish. It's not schools that kill creativity, people kill creativity. You have to take this bit of responsibility for yourself as a student and as a teacher. Within that system, you have to make allowances for that definition of creativity, being willing to make mistakes, to take risks. Creativity for me is about coming up with something that didn't exist before. The truest form of creativity is not even when you're building from what other people have done, but coming up with your very own thing, coming up with something that didn't exist before. And to do that, you have to be willing to make a lot of mistakes. He compares education to industry, mass producing the exact same product. He says it needs to be more like agriculture, create the right conditions to grow and things will grow. But I don't think this is correct. Schools are not factories, they give you a diet they give you a sampler, they give you a curriculum. We give you a taste of all the rich tapestry of human knowledge, understanding and skills. And what is more, we give you the opportunity to specialise. We give you the opportunity to grow into your own individual adult. You just need to be creative enough to take it and to make your own choices and to grow into your own person. And I think there's one more choice that you need to take. You need to enjoy it. Know that everything that we put into a school curriculum is there because it's interesting and that it's useful. So take from it what you will and grow in your own way. And when you feel lost, remember you've got an amazing resource at school, your teachers. Teachers care massively and we're there to help you and will help you in every way that we can. We want to see you flourish. We want to see you grow. So don't get me wrong, I don't disagree with everything that he says. When he, for example, says that we should tread softly on children's dreams, it's a really beautiful sentiment and I totally agree with it. We should nurture children and encourage children. That's what we're here to do. But I think most teachers actually take that for granted. We don't need to be told that. You know, and I wouldn't want you to see this kind of debate and think that you can't grow into your own way because you go to a normal school. That you need some kind of specialised institution to take you from where you are now to pursuing your dreams. Every door is open for you. And I massively hear what he has to say about the arts versus STEM and English. Because although creativity is not just in the arts, it's in every subject. Actually belittling the, those, actually Minimising the value of art subjects compared to English, maths and sciences is not a useful idea for young people to have. But remember that we do have a digital skills gap, a science skills gap and a maths skills gap as well. And so there are lots of opportunities if you choose to go down those routes in your education. It doesn't mean that you're not being creative. Pursuing STEM subjects doesn't mean that you're not being creative. It means that you're choosing to pursue a different type of creativity, a different type of problem solving. You're still going to come up with solutions that weren't there before. And that's what creativity is. 
So Sir Ken Robinson, he quotes Abraham Lincoln. He quotes Abraham Lincoln to give you a compelling argument about having to let go of the way that things are, things that we take for granted. For Lincoln, it was slavery that was taken for granted. And he compares that to us now taking this industrial style of school for granted. Now, don't get me wrong, I really want to change the way the schools are structured, but I don't want young people to think that they can't achieve because of the way the schools are structured. I'd like to draw out another comparison with Abraham Lincoln. That he never went to school, but he was an avid reader. He read and he read and he read. So for me, if you want to learn to do something, if you want to learn to be creative, don't wait for school to give you that opportunity. Don't wait to be taught it. Go and learn it. You can learn anything you want in the 21st century in any way that you want. Schools don't kill creativity. <laughs> Just make that choice to have that creative life, to take those risks and learn those things for yourself. You can learn anything. You have access to everything that you need. Schools don't kill creativity. It's just that so many of us have the wrong idea about what creativity is.